anatomically the kidney consists of two major two major areas the first one from the outermost surface is the cortex as you see here the cortex which is highlighted by red color and the medulla beneath the cortex lies the medulla the kidney as a whole is surrounded from the outside by a renal capsule so the renal capsule is about connective tissue which envelops the kidney from outside surface so let's dissect the kidney anatomically and notice the structure the first area beneath the cortex sorry beneath the capsule is the renal cortex while the second area is the medulla the renal cortex contains the most important functional units of the kidney which are the nephrons which are the nephrons while the renal medulla contains specialized tissue and specific parts usually from 8 to 10 parts of a cone shape cone shape these parts are called the renal pyramids the renal pyramids in fact in fact throughout these parts or throughout the renal pyramids or my legion pyramid throughout these the collecting ducts the collecting ducts will pour into specific structures which appear here in a green color these structures are called calices calices in the plural form while each singular one is called calyx renal calyx so the calyces consist of minor calyx, calyx and major calyx here are the minor calyces while here are the major calyces and all the calyces will unit to pour into to pour into the renal pelvis of course of course they will pour what the urine the urine with its waste products and throughout the renal pelvis then the urine will flow into the ureter now what is the functional unit what is the functional unit of the kidney the functional unit of the kidney is the nephron the functional unit of the kidney is the nephron Before we merge into the major components, the major components or constituents or parts of nephron, uh, we have to pay attention or to remind together the major functions of the kidney. The major functions of the kidney include excretion of waste products, the metabolic waste products, regulation of water and electrolytes regulation of acid-base balance regulation of 
blood pressure, secretion of specific hormones, regulation of red blood cells or erythrocyte production throughout erythropoietin and we have spoken about that in previous lectures in hematology part and in addition to all that functions the kidney also perform to a lesser content to a lesser content than the liver to uh, the gluconeal genesis so what is nephron? nephron is the major functional unit of the kidney and the human kidney each one human kidney usually contains about 10 million 10 million of nephrons in fact the nephrons themselves responsible for performing the filtration filtration of blood reabsorption of important substrates molecules water and excretion of waste products the parts of nephron One nephron consists of the proximal convoluted tubule the loop. convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle, this subconvoluted tubule, and collecting duct. These are the major components of the nephron. In addition to them, there is, there is also Bowman capsule and glomerulus. Bowman capsule, and can we see here? Bowman capsule and glomerulus. All these can be included within the structure of each one nephron. Now, let's speak about the histological structure. 